Hello, welcome to Tony's Bonsai. Today's video is about me listening to my viewers' opinion and advice about some of my projects and making some changes. So I'm going to start off with this beach planting. I think it was only last week that I worked on this group and I'm really pleased I put this tree in here. It really adds to the composition. I adjusted the position of this tree just to make the balance better, which I really like. And the comment that I got was, this tree isn't in the right position. It's too straight and it needs either pulling over like that or bending over. I'm not sure which one to go with. I think I'll just do that. I mean, I could just bend the top a bit with wire or I can just slightly adjust the angle and that'll be a lot easier. So. I'll go with that option. I've positioned the camera now right round to what I see as the exact front. I've wrapped this trunk in vet tape and that's just to protect the trunk from hopefully scarring with the wire biting. And I've wrapped it in one coil of six millimeter aluminium wire. Before I try pulling it with a wire, I thought I'll give it a go at just bending it and see if I can achieve the result that I want using this piece of wire. That's very straight now. Straight's okay. Right, let me come behind the camera to take a look at that. Yes, straight away I prefer it. And I think it's going to be better without it just being pulled across with it having that curve in this direction. So. There we go. How's that? I don't want to go too much further with it than that because, ah yes, it just works. It works much better. I definitely prefer it. If I could get just a little more movement, just sort of there. I like that. And remember, you've got to remember, this tree is going to bounce back. So once I take the wire off, it will come spring back this way because I won't want to leave that wire on for too long so that, you know, hopefully I don't get too much biting. There. I will just add this guy wire and just put a slight bit of tension on it. Not a lot at all. Doesn't need hardly anything. Is that a double negative? It doesn't need hardly anything, or should it? Ah, oh, whatever. That's attached on now. So I've got that on there. All I then need to do is push these wires down through this hole in the side of the pot, like that. And then I can just give it just a little bit of tension like that. Not a lot. Is that better still than just having the wire on? Yeah, yeah, I like that. It doesn't do much. It could possibly go across just a touch more if I want. Like that. Job done. They're the fine tweaks that really improve a composition like that. So thanks again. And now on to the next one. Next up, we've got this hawthorn planting that I only put together last week. I got some really positive feedback. People loved how interesting the movement was and how it was different from the norm, uh, which is great. But I did also have a couple of comments suggesting a major flaw. 
and I agree with them. It's this straight tree, it just doesn't fit in. What I really liked about this tree was a really nice root base. And the problem is the way I planted it, it's very, very straight. So there is some movement in the trunk, but from how it sat there, you just can't see. Now, I have an, an alternative tree that I could replace it with. This hawthorn here has got some really nice snaking movement. It definitely fits in this composition quite nicely. But now that I've just looked at this tree, I've noticed there is movement there. It's just no movement the way that I planted it. So what I'm thinking is, you can see there, there is some movement at the bottom. Perhaps I could just rotate that tree around. I don't know. If I do rotate it, which way do I want the band to go? I think I want it to come this way and that way. So I'm just going to try. Ooh, that didn't want to move. Come on, baby. Go on. Work with me. There. Is that enough movement at the base of that tree now for it to fit in with this group? I'm not convinced. I'm still not convinced. Just the thickness and everything, it just doesn't seem to match. So I'm going to remove that tree completely and have a look at replacing it with this. We'll take a look then and see what this one looks like. Flipping out. Look at that growth. Loads of healthy new roots and it just shows how the tree has already started to grow. Look at these white tips there on the roots. This is all fresh new root. It's brittle and it just snaps straight off. I don't really recall what the, the base of this tree looks like. Just because they're planted in a pot on their own, it's no, it's no guide that it's a good, <laughs> a particularly good tree because in my early days, well, I say my early days, a couple of years ago, I was just planting everything. It didn't really matter whether it had a good root base necessarily what the movement was like. I didn't really understand these things, so they all went in soil. However, looking at this, this doesn't look like my very old soil. So I think this was potted up last year. I think this has only been in the pot 12 months. And again, it's in this very, very gritty soil that's full of that um, granite. Hawthorns seem to absolutely love it. Look at that for root growth. Wow. What do I do with that root base? Look at that. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I should be able to get it in the pot. It's very unusual including a tree like this in a forest composition. But with all this healthy root, I'm pretty confident that this tree will survive having these roots cut right back. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll just take all these roots off. Like that. That still leaves plenty of root. It's not ideal having these very, very twisting, contorted roots. And I'm wondering now, can I even take that big one off? It is quite a lot of the root, but it should still survive. So I'm going for it. Take that root off. It's a lot of root, but I think there's enough on there. Now, if I don't take any more off, that should do fine in this group. It's only a small tree. So let's put this back in the place of that first tree. 
Okay, let's get this one back in its place. It's got that lovely movement and it's a question now of deciding which way I want that movement. Oh, that looks good there. That looks great. I really like that. It's kind of the opposite of that one. That kind of goes this way. That goes, yeah, I like that. So if I can get that in there, that'd be perfect. It's a fairly flat root base now, this. So I should be able to just get that down there. Let me have a look at that. I definitely, I definitely liked it a bit higher like that. So I'll get some more soil and push it kind of underneath. And I like the way it's quite a lot further forward than any other than any of the other trees as well. Now what's the angle like? Let me see. That's nice. Now we're down nearer to pot level. You can begin to see this movement at the low down there, which looks really good, I think. I'm very happy with the position of that. Now, I just need to look at, because some of these other trees mo have moved with me moving that first tree. I just want to make sure they're okay. I think this one here, Yeah, that's better like that. So I'm kind of back to adjusting these trees again now, trying to get them into good positions. Which is what I was doing at the end of the last video. They've settled a bit, being watered and maybe blown about a bit in the wind. They've kind of settled into their, a bit of a newer position. I'm definitely not sure about this one though. I'm pulling that one out. That one has to go. And I can put it back in. I just have to decide where. It's kind of looking a bit sparse tree-wise. Have we got any sort of gaps? That could do with filling. Oh, not really. You want some gaps in these compositions. Obviously, as these trees mature and thicken, the the design's going to change. But as a starting point, I think that's a lot better. A lot better than I had with that straight tree. I'm going to plant that up now and, and uh, work on those roots a little bit and see if I can create a really nice nabari on that straighter, straightish tree because it could just be a, an excellent tree in its own right that one yes happy with that so again to anyone who mentioned that i should change that straight tree thank you i agree Give this a couple of years and I'll be very glad that I've not got some long thick straight tree because I love that kind of twisting you know unusual woodland I had one comment which was really nice about it looking like an older forest you know it doesn't necessarily have to look like a hawthorn forest this I just but I want it to look like one of the forests that has this kind of form yeah I remember this tree and I do remember saying that I thought it had a really nice sort of radial set of roots. Quite a lot of character going on, which is why I wanted it at the front of the composition. So at this stage now, the question is, look how flat that root base is. What do I do with it? And this is my plan. A seed tray. Ah, that's perfect. That's going to look... That's going to work great in there. I've got the soil here that I removed the other tree from, which obviously that tree loved it in there. So I've mixed it with a bit of pine bark and some other bits and bobs. 
I'll put it on a bit of a hill like that. Get some soil around it and kind of push, push those roots down. And that can go outside. And last but by no means least is this little one. It's got hardly any roots on it, but there should be enough for it to survive. It's got some really interesting movement, but you know, for what it is, let's go a bit crazy on it. I very quickly ran a piece of vet tape over it. I think this is maybe three millimeter aluminium wire. And this is highly risky. <laughs> There's no doubt this is risky. I run the risk of snapping the tree, definitely. I run the risk of just killing the tree through stress. It's not got many roots. That wasn't a snap, that was me hand on the board. But all I'm really doing is trying to make something interesting. If, we, if we're not prepared to kill a tree, then we can't really do stuff like this with it, you know. You've got to be prepared to run that risk. Unless this kind of work isn't for you, you know, this isn't for everybody. As Nigel was saying on his recent video, which I found really interesting, you know, it's, he doesn't like this style of tree. To him, it's not natural and that's fine. You know, there are no kind of set rules. This is a hobby for us all to enjoy in our own way. But I like that kind of, <laughs> I love this kind of twisting, especially on little, basically uninteresting material like this that otherwise, I mean, what is it? I'll go and get this tree in some soil now. As always, thanks for joining me. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.